And we begin another day of Hachsik, learning Musr together. We're in the middle of the 11th parak, the parak of Anikias, cleanliness, how we're learning how each and every action is so minute. The more we think about them, the more that we'll slowly be able to cleanse ourselves from all the issues of theft, of arayis, of being, our speech being inappropriate. And finally, we pick it up on page 207, concluding another incredible week of learning Musr together. Says the Misil Sisharm, Be'inyan Nisina Soitza, regarding giving advice. And this is a continuation of that which we saw that we're in the middle of discussing how careful one has to be with his words. So it says the Misil Sisharm regarding Nisina Soitza, giving advice. Shanina Bateras Kayanim, we learned in Vayik. In front of the blind, got to be careful, no stumbling blocks. Someone who is blind, quote-unquote, in a certain area. He doesn't know what to do, he's walking around, he needs help. If someone asks you, The daughter of so-and-so, is she allowed to marry a kain? We know there's interesting halachas, unique halachas, who a kain is allowed to marry. And you know. But don't say, Kishira, yeah, you, she, you can marry. But it's really not true. Or someone comes over to you, some advice, business or something. You got to be careful. You always have to give advice, which is what's best for him. Don't tell him. Sell the field and buy a donkey. I know you're thinking. Bit manipulation. You're thinking, great, I'm now going to be able to buy the field from him. So you're giving him an advice that he thinks is for his business, but it's not. You can't order this, it's for yourself. Shema Taimar. Maybe you're going to say, it's a Yafani Naisin What do you mean? I'm giving him beautiful advice. You should know this is something that's in your heart. And of course, matters in the heart are the most difficult because no one knows. But God knows. You should be fearful from Hashem. What do we learn from these two examples? Whether it's something which could have interest to you. Like the second case, the business advice that you could personally benefit from. Or something that has nothing to do with you. Whether this daughter could marry a kain has nothing to do with you. Still, you have to answer appropriately, clear, pure, a truthful answer. Continues the Messiah of the Shara Matira, and you should see Shamda Taira al Saif Taitam Shalra Mahim the Taira in its infinite wisdom went into the underlying motives that plunge the depths of the motive of the brain of the swindler. The lavish of Tani Askinan, for in the Isra, we're not dealing with fools. She ate the Isra, she also made for Sam's in the who give advice that everyone knows. If you give advice that everyone knows, is Stuyot. Everyone knows his stupidity. Of course, he's not going to listen to you. We're dealing with someone. He's shrewd. He knows how to say something that sounds okay. Sell your field for the chamar or vice versa. Who gives advice and people think it's okay. It sounds like he's going to make a good profit. Ah, and that's the example that we're learning to teach us. Really? You're not doing it for his good. You're doing it for your own good. You're going to say, oh no, it's a good Eitzah. The Chacham are teaching us something specific over here. It's something, it sounds okay. So when my listeners say, wow, great, a prophet. No, Musr Lelev. This is something that goes in your heart and Hashem knows. And says the Ramchal, how often, how common is it for people to stumble in this regard? Day after day, because they're asked, and when they see their own personal profit in it, they can't give the appropriate advice. And the Apostle, where he explains, the terrible punishment says the Pasuk in Dvarim, Arur Mashke Iver Baderech. You're cursed. How often do we find the curse that the Torah gives for the one that leads the blind astray? But now, what's the Adam Ayashar? What's the straight? What's the upright person supposed to do? What's his obligation? Someone comes to ask you for advice. Give him advice. 
what you would do yourself. A beautiful litmus test. You want to know, is it good for him? Would you do that yourself? Anything. Don't think about anything other than that detail. Don't think about anything but for the welfare of him. Don't think about yourself. Or don't think about your personal gain. No. What is best for him? However good or far-fetched it might be. Vim Yaresh, who has a glass of pizza. And let's say that you're giving him advice and it causes you harm. He asks you for advice and you give it to him. What's best for him? But that thing that's best for him is harmful for you. Then you have one of two things you could do. If you're able to point out to one seeking advice and tell him what would be better for him, you should tell him. But if not, to remove yourself. So again, Ms. Hilsi Sharm is teaching us a fine detail over here. You know that something's going to be a problem. You know that what's going to be is, and you're not able to give him the right advice. So either be miskaber and give him the right advice or just remove yourself. If you can't give the right advice, say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Yistalik minadover, remove yourself. How much gvura, how much strength does it take for one to walk away and say, I'm sorry. Ach, I'll call upon him. But in any event, al yatseo eitza shetach lisa idover zula staivasa shalom isyaitz. These are words you got to hang up. Never give advice. Aside from that which is good for the misya'it, the one who's asking for advice. The only exception is where the one that's asking for advice, you could tell that he himself has underpinnings of evil. He himself has bad intention. Then you have a mitzvah to thwart his evil plans. That if he's crooked, you have to act crookedly with him. We see this. And of course, that's a very fine line, a very difficult concept that you know he's doing something, so you're going to trick him, but for how powerful and how important it is to remember that when someone asks for advice, the only one thing you keep in mind is what is best for him.